Rufus in the Star Spangled Shorts and the Samoan, the monster, the legend himself, Mighty Mo. Well, true or not, but I've been told that Mighty Mo might even kick him away. away. I've been told he's been, the waist. Working, he's been working on his kicks, he's been doing his Muay Thai to add to his explosive boxing. Power. I can't wait for this, man. Here we go. Here we go, Ooh. and set the Two Legends, legends. Clash here Ooh. in Los Angeles. Expected Rick here just to move and be elusive. Very technical, very clever. Mo, very cutting, Mo cutting down the ring. Back on the ropes though. High kick there from Rufus, but a big left up. Big shots going in from Mo. Rick Rufus is very cool, isn't he? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, really cool. He's absolutely. been here before. He many has times, been here you know. before. He's got a... Oh, good. Right the left that's the speed, that's the straight left I was talking about. That was sharp, straight through the middle. <laughs> I thought I got excited, you were awesome, do it again. <laughs> Mighty Mo was wobbled from that. Yeah, a high kick and a left hand from Rufus, very sharp indeed. There you go, there's the body oh, kick. You got it. I told you, you called it here and you called it. I can't believe it, Mighty Mo for a Muay Thai <laughs> body kick. Good kick as well. Nice kick combination. Yeah, right? very nice. Showing some rolling back the years. I tell you what, the crowd is so appreciative of these two, aren't they? They're just, these are two legends. They've been so respectful Absolutely. to each other, though, as well. Wow, I don't believe that. <laughs> A spinning heel kick by Mike. I told him he was working on the kicks, but I didn't realise he was going to do a spinning heel kick. Rufus is throwing the clever combinations, though. Rick loves to throw that left kick to the body and then come over the top with the left hand. There's the spinning back fist. He's got an arsenal of weapons like maybe nobody else in this sport. Especially at this rate. Especially at this age. Stop. Let's be honest. Hey. I asked Rick, what does this mean to your legacy? Why are you here at 46 years old? And he said, Dale, it's because I still believe I can do it. I want to be in the Super Bowl of kickboxing. I still think I got the knockout power. He certainly has a big stage here. Mighty a hard punch to the body. I'm actually impressed with both fighters. Really, so really. You know, so the I. skill level of these two, especially the size as well, and of course the age, it's been second to none. Top of Rick Rufus. All right, Brick. He threw that combat. He threw that hook very well. A bruising on the side of the head of the legend that is the Jet. Rufus. Who would have thought it would have gone around? Dying seconds of the first round. Oh, I'll tell you something, Dale. Vintage stuff, that wasn't it? No doubt. Round one is in the books. Both guys showed they belong here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was wobbled, Mighty Mo, with a sharp left kick, left punch combination. And after that, he started throwing body kicks. What a great round. In the words of the Songtress chair, if I could turn back time, he's happening right here now at Los Angeles, isn't it? Here we go to Rick Rufus. Kick punch combination, here it is. Unbelievable. Nobody expected Mighty Mo to come with the high kick. Samoan smash. The Samoan spin. <laughs> there you go. Rick Rufus is never going to be caught with that, though. I'll tell you something. There's the left kick, left punch yeah, I'm talking that's about. That's what Dale was talking that's about. That's his favourite combo, and then comes the left behind it. The wobble, mighty mo. It was like a cobra, wasn't it? Just yes. slipped back, boom, went straight through the middle. That's right. right. Here we go, round two. Round two, this three, three-minute round. K1 Clash of Legends here at the Los Angeles Sports Arena. Live on Spike.com. I'm amazed by these two, you know. Great physical condition as well. Great athleticism and just great, great discipline. Oh, that's those big punches he's known for. Those big haymakers. Mighty Mo's loosened up a bit, he's dropping his hands. And we do know in the past he's been caught with high kicks. This is what Rufus wanted. He wanted to get this fight 
into the second and third round where he believes Mo is going to tie her out and then Rufus's speed and experience will dominate. Oh, oh. But you've got to remember, oh. Mo still has that yeah, one punch point, knockout right. power. Yeah, when, when, you're that, when you're that size, if you can't oh. knock people out when you're that size, you can't knock people out at all, you know? He's a big, big man, isn't he? Hard body, the body. That was so sweet. Thrown by Rufus, some powerful digging that as well. That was Rick Rufus of old, that was. But well, look at that, though. The footwork is just out. too. It's too good for Mighty Mo right now. His footwork, his sight, and his hand speed. He needs, to, he needs to score more though. One of them does. It's not a. It's not a tickling contest. You've got to let the shots go. The spinning kick to the leg, reminiscent of Andy Hook. That was a tribute to Andy Hook. Certainly sure. was the legend. Sands in the corner to Mo to throw more body kicks. I never would have thought in my career to hear that. Oh, oh, it is. Oh, it's there you go. A big overhand left. A spinning back kick. Mo still in this. He took that well. So that's experience with Rick Rufus. Didn't want to get too involved. He did what he did and got out because he knows he's dangerous, Mo. Then Rick Rufus has got great movement, hasn't he? And he's smart enough to not trade with Mo. He's going to land his shots and get out. Mo needs to be pressing the action here. He does, yeah. He's just stalking around at the moment. If he lets Rufus dance and pick his shots, he cannot win. Left kick and a hard left. Punch, to the punch through the middle, but Mo's open mouth now. He caught, caught again with a straight left to the chin of mighty Mo. It's just like a slippery eel, isn't he? Just gets in, just slips out. Lovely most, footwork. Mo's hands are too low. Rufus can still kick to the head. He's got to watch it. Excellent evasion. Superb. Absolutely beautiful to watch. Is he's rolling back the years here. Ten seconds. That's a nice high kick. kick, a spinning back kick for him. Rufus, a left cross and a right hand over the top from Mo. Excellent exchange there. Awesome. What a fantastic scrap. You know what, Dale? You want to make a comeback now, don't you? You can tell by your eyes. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. When you introduced me, it was an honor to hear about my championship, but you left out my most greatest accomplishment. I starred in 10 of the worst martial art movies of all time. I won't argue with that one. What, Blood Ring? <laughs> that was the worst. <laughs> but I tell you what, Mo is not out of this fight because he still has that punching power, but he's got to turn up the heat, guys. Our announcer, Chris Leary, has been going absolutely crazy as well. At ringside, also single, he asked me to tell everyone. There was a big overhand left there that wobbled Mo just momentarily. Look, ball, huge reach, huge reach, but he took it well. The jet that would have knocked a lot of guys out. The jet has still got it. The movement's been superb. And Mighty Mo looks tired. Second down, anyone three in. Let's huge go. Huge guy to move around. It's hot in here as well. He's got three minutes Last to do. Last round, touch him up. Anything can happen. Mo definitely hey. still has a chance with the one punch knockout, but he's got to throw one punch. Is Rufus proving people wrong? A lot of people have been saying, oh, he's too old. Absolutely, he hasn't he's any proving wrong, people wrong. Two rounds, superb. There weren't too many guys entered in this tournament that lined up to want to fight Mighty Mo. Stop. No, and Rufus no. is out there and he's doing it. Fight. He took that left up to the body so well, he's a tough, tough man. Amazing, isn't it? Just took that kick, slipped off, avoided the punch. Not just experience, he's come with a great game plan, isn't it? Spinning back fist, dancing round Mighty Mo now. Mighty Mo trying to cut the ring down. The tighter Mo gets, the more one dimensional he becomes, and that makes it easier and easier for Rufus to evade getting hit with that big punch. Got to still give Mo credit though. Oh, High kick. kick. <laughs> He's got the Samoan pride. He's not gonna. He's not gonna give up. There it is. The right Stop. hand. Let him go. Right. Rick Rufus has got a good chin as well. He's took some big shots. Let him he's out. Took some heavy shots. Break. He certainly has. Break, break, break. Get him off. Get off his neck. Fight. Two absolute legends. Who, you know, <laughs> Mighty Mo. I thought we two changed his style a little bit. Amazing. Credit to his coach as well, William, doing a really good job. Straight right 
just whistles past the chin of Rufus. Oh, that's a big, big punch. Took oh. Still got a minute Break. and 15 seconds to go to do Wait. this. His experience getting a bit of air, being evasive. Rufus has got this fight in the bag right now. He just needs to not make a huge mistake. He needs to throw some more buckets while well there. Well, keep high kick whistles past his head. Remember, with K1, not just effective strikes, it's also aggression and obviously pressure. Maybe microphone knee. Stop. Never know. <laughs> hey. Do not forget, if it gets to a draw, they will do an extra round. That's right. Hard body kick there. Good fluff cross from Rufus. Kieran, who looks like they got the gas for a fourth round right here? Well, I'll tell you what. They're still right. swinging. Let's go. And Let's it's break. 15 seconds left. But hey. Mo is breathing heavily now. You can see the gas coming out. You can see his mouth. Jaws wide open. He's done a lot, he's done a lot of chasing as well. Is he trying to cut the ring down? Ring. Scott big. Spinning back. He clicks. Takes that shot. What a performance by these two Asian veterans. It may be an extra round. I'm proud of both of them. Uh, so am I. Oh, absolutely. So am I. No one thought it'd go more than one round. No one thought Big Roof would still had it. No one thought Mighty Mo could kick. I mean, there's many things answered there. That's what K1 does. They're turning back the clock because they want that big stage. They crave that glory, don't they, Mr. Cook? I'll tell you, this, the audience enjoyed this very much. Not as much as me and you did. No, no. <laughs> and Kieran, We're out screaming each other. Huh? <laughs> so it's very difficult to do that, Mr. Cook. But I tell you something, a great, great performance. Kicked from Mighty Mo. I never have thought it, Kieran. A head kick, even. But, you know, great fight, great tactical battle, good game plan here by Rick Rivers, moving, striking, wobbling Mo early on, and then moving out of the way. He wasn't stupid, he wasn't silly, he used his brain. You know, he is a six-time world kickboxing champion, so... It's great to see Mighty Mo at the twilight of his career. He's still developing his game. He brought some tools to the ring tonight we had never seen from him. This has been an absolute mesmerizing show brought to you, K1 returns here at Los Angeles Sports Arena. And we've got more things coming up. But I'll tell you something in a moment, a battle of two men that really don't like each other. I mean, this, these guys shouldn't be in the same town, let alone in the same ring. Dale, what does K1 mean to you? All right, to me, K1 is the most exciting, most dramatic sport on the planet. We get to see things that we don't see in MMA. In K1, you get to see a, get, a guy get knocked down, then have the courage and the fortitude to get back up and come back and sometimes win. Yeah, you absolutely. never see that in MMA. I that. love MMA, but when a guy gets an advantage, whether it's position or a knockdown, it's usually over like that. In K1, there's always the chance for the big comeback, and we've seen it tonight. Well, I know that all the MMA fans are watching. I hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. Great, great show. This has been absolutely surpassed everybody's Ladies expectations. Ladies and gentlemen, after three exciting rounds of action and moving on to the World Grand Prix Final 16 in Tokyo, Japan, winner by split decision from the red corner, Rick Well, there you the go. Jet. Split decision, and you can see why. He did a lot of movement. He moved around a hell of a lot. But Mighty Mo, you've got to give him credit, Dale. He pulled it out of the back, and he? he turned back the clock.